The DRDO is working on a 300 km range next generation submarine launched cruise missile that will be equipped with advanced active radar homing seeker and will perform the role of both land attack cruise missile and anti ship cruise missile in dense electronic warfare environment. It will have a length of 4.5 meters and a diameter of less than 400 millimeters so that it can be launched from 533 millimeters torpedo tubes. The need for a new sea-launched cruise missile has been under consideration for some time, as the 600mm diameter of the BrahMos supersonic cruise missile makes it incompatible to be launched from torpedo tubes, unless a vertical launch system is integrated on the submarine. Both surface ships and submarines can carry the next-generation submarine-launched cruise missile in the future, that will result in better logistics and inventory management. The Indian government is likely to approve the 50,000 crore rupees project 18 by the end of 2022, under which six next-generation stealth-guided missile destroyers of 13,000 tons will be built. The DRDO in collaboration with Bharat Electronics will be designing next-generation radar systems to be incorporated into the P-18-class destroyers, that will also field hypersonic missiles for land attack and anti-ship roles, and is expected to be commissioned by 2031. The construction will likely be at Mazagin Dock Limited, for which the shipyard will acquire additional land. The Indian Army chief will embark on an official visit to the United Kingdom and Italy between 5th July and 8th July, during which he will be meeting his counterparts of the two countries. Italian defence firms have expressed keen interest in taking a proactive part in the Make in India initiative of the Indian government, and it is to be noted that both UK's BA Systems and Italy's Ivaco Consortium have received the Indian Army's request for information for FRCV programme and are expected to field their Challenger 3 concept and their riot tank respectively. After the French Public Prosecution Agency has appointed a French judge to lead a judicial probe into alleged corruption in the 59,000 crore rupees Rafale deal with India, the Congress party has now demanded a joint parliamentary committee investigation into the Rafale deal, saying that it is the only way forward to find the truth about corruption in the purchase of 36 Rafale fighter jets. Meanwhile, the BJP spokesperson has said that Congress leader is being used as a pawn by rival defence companies. Under the UP Defence Corridor project, the UP Expressways Industrial Development Authority has completed the first lease agreement in Aligarh district, and has allotted more than 55.4 hectares of land to 19 defence manufacturing companies, which would be investing more than 1,245 crore rupees. Garden Reach Shipbuilders has bagged an order to build six 13 meters surveillance patrol boats from Bangladesh government worth $1.8 million for sustainable coastal and marine fisheries project. The order has been awarded to Garden Reach Shipbuilders through an international competitive bidding, where other international shipyards from Europe and Asia had participated. High-resolution photographs of China's latest submarine was recently posted on social media forums, which shows that it has been fitted with a reliable passive towed array sonar, which is a significant enhancement over the previous Type 39 BUAN class submarine. The most distinctive feature of the new submarine is the sail, which has been copied from Saab Group's A26 submarine. The armies of India and Russia will organize a joint army exercise from 1st August to 15th August in Russia. About 250 Indian military personnel from the Army, Navy and Air Force will leave for Russia for the tactical bilateral Indra 2021 tri-service exercise with the Russian military, that will be followed by another exercise within a month, when the Indian and Pakistani armies will jointly participate with Russia, Algeria, Kazakhstan and Armenia. The government is expected to release a new cyber security strategy in the next few months, that will ensure a safe, secure and trusted cyber space. 
Cyber crimes in India had increased by 500% during the lockdown, and India is one of the top three attacked countries in the world as far as cyber attacks are concerned. Oh, Mark, dropped it.